Right my friends, a bit more of a relaxed video for you tonight because normally I'll whack music on it, I'll edit it and I'll spend hours editing it and tonight um, I'm just going to go for an Indian, I'm in Torremolinos in the Costa del Sol I wasn't going to take my camera with me, I wasn't going to take you guys with me and I thought, do you know what, I might as well um, but I'm not going to edit anything with music on in this one I'm going to take you to this place, uh, this Indian restaurant called Kathmandu I'll read you some of the uh, reviews actually but uh, first of all I want to thank Russ and Emma from Barnsley who I bumped into last night and they said you've got to go to Kathmandu, it's a fantastic Indian restaurant uh, and it gets great write-ups on Google I have to say best Indian restaurant in the area, always tasty food and great service, uh, great to see they have a veggie and vegan menu too as well, uh, there's lots of different reviews on it, uh, best tikka masala in my life, that's good because I like tikka masala, uh, I did travel across India for quite some time just to mention, so there we go, they travelled across India but they still had a tikka masala which I always get the mickey taken out of me for, uh, very authentic food, great flavours and they will make it hot for you, I always to get a tikka masala and add a little bit of spice to it as well which is a bit, it's a bit strange because you go for a tikka masala because it isn't spicy but I ask them to add a little bit of a kick to it, um, not too much though because uh, I've got a <laughs> got to walk around tomorrow. Uh, very nice service, uh, excelente food, very nice service, fast and uh, with great waiters. Uh, the best Indian restaurant in Torremolinos. We, we keep coming every time uh, and whatever we order. We are always ensure the quality of the food uh, is top notch. Uh, one of the best Indian Nepalese food I've ever had. Highly recommend the following, mixed starter, etc. I won't go into all that. Uh, so there we go anyway, you can read them all anyway on, online uh, but it gets a fantastic write-up. We're going to have a little wander around as well. As I say, this video, no music. It basically will just be me, you and we'll have a wander around. You can listen to the sights, uh, listen to the sights, you can listen to the sounds. I'm not re-editing either. You can listen to the sounds, you can see the sights. <laughs> I'm only human, I'm not AI, uh, and we can just have a little wander around. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, uh, do hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. You've not got the Mac Master tonight, you've got Lee, and I'm having a beer. Anyway, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Oh, right, I tell you what, it's an absolutely gorgeous evening tonight. They've got like some kind of market thing going on there. People are outside having a bite to eat. Kathmandu's down one of the side streets there. What I'm going to do actually after we've eaten, um, I'll take us around. It should be uh, kind of getting dark then as well. And uh, we'll have a quick look at the nightlife around Torremolinos as well. There's kind of two parts to it. It's very hilly. So you've got this part which is sort of like on the upper part. And then you can go down towards the, uh, towards the ocean or the sea. Sea, sea isn't it? Ocean? Sea? Yeah, uh, sea. Ocean? Sea. It's sea. That's it. Anyway, who cares? Uh, near the water. So uh, we're going to have a wander around. And we'll have a look at that a little bit later on. But let's take a wander around and uh, see what's happening before we go and eat. Come on. Would I like some paella? No thanks. Uh, I like to look at my food. I don't like it looking at me. <laughs> There's going to be some comments about that. <coughs> Sherlock Holmes. Lemon entry, my dear Watson. Or elementary. Let's do a bit of exploring, shall we, before we go and have an Indian. What we've got here, La Bodega, just there. Uh, God, I tell you what, it's, it's, it's actually quite nice just having a little uh, explore, a little mooch around. Got some fridge magnets there. Oh, phallic ones again. What is it with those, eh? Good grief. Uh, what else have we got down here? Let's have a look. Shoe shops, ice cream, jewellery. Tell you what I do, what I have noticed is, Phone case shops, they just sell nothing but phone cases. Who wants a phone case on holiday? It's surely you've already got one. 
find it really odd. Man bags. Never understand them. My mate Martin, the silver fox in New York, always has a man bag. I find it a bit odd. I don't know. What do you reckon? Just have a pop it in the comments section. Don't really want to say that on this video. I'm a bit more relaxed, but let me know. Let me know what you think. I'm not going to go down that way because uh, the Indian restaurant is back up that way so uh, we'll just have a mooch up that way and then after, like I say, uh, we'll uh, take a quick look at what the uh, nightlife is like because it does actually, I was out last night and it, it's quite lively in Torremolinos at night um, really enjoyed it I found a nice little bar called um, v Vanilla and it, I've been in there every day because the internet is extremely fast and I need fast uploads for when I'm doing my videos and it is extremely fast so I've been sat there most of the day ha! I think it's a new style radio well new radio but in an old style but my mum used to have something like that she used to put it in front of her behind a sewing machine and she'd listen to the archers while she was sewing because she was a seamstress I love stuff like that we've lost it all haven't we with like you know losing records although they're coming back and it's just like mp3s and you know there's nothing now is there nothing physical that's it there's nothing physical I'm not saying a word I am not saying a word <laughs> Can you answer me this question right? Because I've said this before, there's a guy back there talking on his phone and rather than doing that, he's doing that. Yeah, well I tell you, this is the question I got. I feel, I'm feeling, I feel I want to do the Dom Jolly kind of thing. Hello! No, yeah, I'm just, now I'm in the sun. Yeah, just chilling out. Yeah, no, I'm in the cinema. I'm in the cinema. Do you know what I mean? It's just odd. Put it to your ear. We don't need to listen to your conversation. Am I just being an old grump? I don't know, I just find it odd. Anyway, got a statue up here, have a look at this. I mean, there's no need for that, is the Sculpture it without, do you know what I mean? Sculpture it without it. What's all that about? Enough to put you off your tikka masala, isn't it? Anyway, there's a title for the video. I went to an Indian restaurant in Torremolinos and I found this disgusting and offensive. Clickbait, I guess, isn't it? But, you know, I don't know. Anyway, nice little roundabout here. I'm getting a bit peckish, actually. I think we might have to head over that way now, uh, get something to eat, and then uh, we'll have a look around in a bit when, uh, when sun, when, after sunset, and have a look around because it livens up then, doesn't it? It's all about the night time. The daytime is just pastime. It's all about the night time. Right, so a bit of like a square here. A lot of people mention in this place to me, McJamon. Um, which seems to be a cheap place for like a toasty or a coffee or whatever. I've not tried it. Uh, you can get like a cheap beer as well. Um, let me know whether you've been and if it's any good. By the way, I don't find that statue thing disgusting and offensive. I don't really find anything offensive to be honest. I think everybody nowadays seems to find everything offensive, don't they? There's a Ricky Gervais thing actually, which I kind of agree with. Well, I actually, not kind of, I do agree with him. Because he says, you know, you may find something offensive, but it doesn't mean that it is offensive. Um, 
I, I mean, I'm just thinking to myself, there's a certain comedian, I won't mention his name on here, uh, who's got his own brand, who's uh, sort of like being cancelled. Ricky Gervais hasn't yet though, has he? I guess there's time. You can't say anything nowadays, can you? Unless it's nice, or about crispy batter and uh, bent sausages. In fact, bent sausages will be uh, banned next, cancelled next. Come on, <laughs> let's get a move on. Tell you what, there's lots of little alleyways and back streets, etc. that I like. I like this because you get off the beaten track a little bit and you see different things, and I like it. I have to say, I do like seeing different things. I'm a bit iffy with trying different foods, etc. because Spanish foods, I get a lot of comments saying, Why do you come to Spain and you don't eat their food? I'm not keen on it. I've had it before, you know, like the paella and stuff, and I can't. I don't know about you, I can't do with like a prawn with its eyes bulging out looking at you. It puts me off. As I've said before, I want to look at my food. I don't want my food looking at me. It, I'm not into stuff like that. And then I don't mind a bit of tapas, I have to admit, but I'm not overly keen on it. It's like the selection of food that you get at christenings and weddings that they give you on like a little tray, isn't it? Each to their own. I'm not saying, you know, you might like it, but you get a lot of people, why do you bother coming abroad if you don't eat local? You don't have to come abroad just to eat their food. You can come abroad to experience the different sites and also get their weather because in the UK, as we know, it's not great weather, is it? Unless you look at the news and then it goes up, there's a massive heat wave, which I haven't seen yet. Anyway, come on, let's get a move on. What's going on here? I want to get my Indian food, but I want to know what's going on here. Let's have a look. I'm going to hazard a guess that it's something to do with dogs. I'm just guessing. Right, so I'm going to head over now to Kathmandu. So if you come out of the train station here and hang a left, uh, then it's right down this alleyway here, Kathmandu, next to Garfield's Music Bar. Right, well, I've got to say, I'm going to keep my voice down a little bit because there's people around um, and I don't want to ruin their evening. But it's very nice in here, very clean, immediate uh, first impressions. Uh, and also the kitchen's open as well, so you can see exactly what they're doing in the kitchen. Um, I'll have a quick look at the menu here. As I say, I'm not going to put any music over it. I'm just basically, it's just an evening out uh, and I'm bringing it with me. So uh, let's have a look at the menu and then um, we'll order. I'm going to probably order what I normally order. I'll order tikka masala, I'll order um, pilau rice. Uh, if I have a starters, it will be normally an onion bhaji. I get the pickle tray, you've got to have a pickle tray, and also a naan bread as well. So uh, anyway, uh, check the menu out. Right, so I've ordered a cobra, we've got the pickle tray. I didn't order the pickle tray, it just came. So we've got uh, the onions in there, and we've got some uh, 
mango chutney, different sauces there. We've got half a popper down there as well. Uh, so we'll try this out. Let's go in for a little bit of um, bit of onion first. Pop the onion on there, and we're going for a little bit of um, I'm guessing the mango chutney on there. That looks good. Hmm. Oh yeah, tastes good. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you very much. And a frozen glass. Frosty glass. Oh, oh yeah. You know I like a frosty glass. Here we go. Oh, look at that. You can't beat a frosty glass when you're abroad. It makes it for me. Just look at that. It's freezing on my hand, actually. It's really cold. It really makes it. Can't beat that. Right, I'm gonna order. Right, so I've got my onion barges here. I've asked for some more mango uh, chutney so I can put them on my onion bargey. Uh, a little bit of salad in the middle, lemon. Uh, again, no music, but have a quick look yourself. Right, I think I'll just... Uh... Thank you, looks good, thank you. Um, Get a little bit of lemon on there, fresh lemon, I have to say, pop the, pop. This is supposed to work if you put your fork in it so it doesn't squirt in your eye. But it's still squirting in my face. <laughs> pop that on there. Um, and then we'll cut into this onion bargey. Nice and, nice and crispy there. There you go, look at that. I'll, I'll do some without the mango chutney first. That's good. That, that actually is very nice. That is good. Right. Well, I'll see you at the main course. Very nice. Right, so the goods have arrived. Here we go. We've got the uh, chicken tikka masala, we've got the pilau rice, and we've got the peshwari naan. Uh, I've asked them to um, make the uh, tikka masala a little bit more spicy, give it a little bit of a kick. Um, as I say, there's no music on it, so um, uh, while, I, while I talk, you can, uh, you can see it over the top here. So we've got tikka masala, which I'm going to dig into, and other sauces. And there you go, you see the uh, pilau rice there, and then the uh, the Peshwari Naan. So we're uh, right, let's first of all get this, um, let's get a little bit of this uh, pilau rice on there. Okay. I actually sometimes do mix it up a little bit and I have uh, mushroom rice. Now then, do you do this with your rice though? Do you put the rice on and make a little bit of a, a moat in the middle bit? <laughs> a little bit of a well to put it in. Uh, so here's the tikka masala. Let's see how much chicken there is. One, two, three, Four, five, six, six. I'm gonna put, I tell you what, I'm gonna pour it all on actually. Let's pour it all on. There we go. And the plate was warm, by the way. The plate was hot, so she brought it along. So you got a warm plate, which is what I like because then you um, don't want to ruin his tablecloth. So um, I'm gonna put that over there where he can clean the table. Right, I'm gonna lick the spoon and see how spicy it is. Medium, medium, that's pretty good. Right, let's go in for the chicken and um, we'll see what the chicken's like in the middle there. Here we go. Very tender. Mm. That's nice, not too spicy for me, not too weak. Just a little bit of a kick, just a little bit of a bite, really. Sauce is nice and thick. To be fair, that's really nice. And then we'll go for a bit of the pashwari naan, which is absolutely scalding. Ouch. Here we go. Let's have a look on the inside of the uh, pashwari there. 
There you go. Okay. Now I know you're going to say, got to be garlic naan, but not for me. Dip that in. It's very tasty, I've got to say. Very nice. Right. Don't go anywhere, because we're going to have a little wander around and have a look at Torre Molinos on the evening. It's a bit getting busy in here now. So um, I'll eat this, then we'll head off and we'll have a little mooch around and I'll show you Torre Molinos on an evening. See you in a minute. Mm. Cheers. It's really good. Right, so I'm going to eat the rest of this. There's no point in you seeing a million different angles because I'm not putting music over it or anything. I'm really enjoying it. We'll mark it out of 10. This really, it's Indian food, I'm throwing that in, but it's a bit of a, just a general video, really. Just a bit of a tour around Torremolinos and a bit of Indian food thrown in it. I highly recommend it so far. Uh, I can't say anything bad about it. The onion bars is really nice. And the tikka masala uh, is excellent. I believe the tikka masala, by the way, was invented in uh, Glasgow, wasn't it? I believe, with a tin of tomato soup or something. Am I right in thinking that? You can pop that in the comment section down below and let me know if I'm wrong or right. Uh, anyway, don't go anywhere because we'll have a little wander around um, Torre Molinos and have a look at what's going on. Excellent, thank you very much. Brilliant, so I'll see you guys outside. Right, so it's uh, quarter past eight now. Quarter past eight. We're in quarter past eight, do you know what? I haven't got my watch on because I'm trying to tan my white bit. Um, it is, quarter, yeah it is quarter past eight, <laughs> 8 14. Um, I've got to say, I really enjoyed that Indian. Um, it was tasty, uh, it had great, you know, they've got Cobra beer. Um, I got chatting, I had a good evening, I got chatting with a guy next to me on the table who was uh, originally from England but now lives in Vancouver. He's over here visiting. The, right, the meal was, it was just a great night. It's a great Indian restaurant, very clean. Onion barges were lovely, by the way. Uh, so was the, everything about it was good. If I'm gonna nitpick on it, a little bit more chicken in it, could have done with that. Um, but, you know, what, what do you want? Um, I can't remember what the bill was now, actually. I've just shown it on the outro there. Very relaxed, this video, isn't it? I can't remember what it was, what was it? 28 euros, 10, there we go. Um, not, well. I think the beer upped it, didn't it? If I'm going to mark it out of 10, I'll give it a, a nine. How's that? There we go, that's not bad at all. Let's have a wander around, uh, see what it's like on an evening here in Torre Molinos, and, uh, and then we'll wrap it up. But I mean, just watch out for that bull though, because I've never been so offended in my life. <laughs> Let's have a wander around. So let's have a wander down where we were before. If you remember earlier on, um, if you were watching, uh, I filmed that balcony up there, and now we're gonna head down these steps uh, and uh, have a wander down in that direction and see what's down there. Come on, let's do a little bit of exploring. There you go, Phil and Janice. Tapas is that popular here, that place is closed down. Oh, don't see a full English breakfast place or a uh, fish and chips place closed down. I'm just kidding. You know what my mum would have said about foreign food though? 
because she liked to fish and chip. She loved to fish and chip, same as my dad. She would have said, not eating that foreign muck. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll give it a go. I don't mind tapas, to be fair, but don't tell anybody. I hope you're enjoying this because it's a, it's a bit different to my normal style of video. Normally I'll put like music over the top of it and have me walking past the camera etc. But this one's just a little uh, wander about, just uh, a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more loose. Oh, it's got some good shops here. I lo love a little walk around on an evening. This is the time of, I like this time of day and then early morning and uh, they're my favourite times. Early morning over early evening, I think, because it's a, like a fresh day, a new book, a new page. What we've got here. <laughs> that electric car makes a better sound than mine. Thank you very much. Thank you, gracias. So, gone for strawberry cheesecake. I need, um, I need Sarah here because what I do is I normally have one of these. She'll never have an ice cream, but she'll lick round it so it doesn't drip for me because I'm pretty useless. Um, but anyway, I'm going to eat this. I hope you're enjoying this video. I'm a bit out of my comfort zone because normally I've got a style that I go to. And I thought tonight, you know what? Let's just go with it and just be real. Mm. And I've done it in half the time. I just have to keep going back for my camera. Anyway, I'll, I'll eat the rest of this. Very tasty. And then we'll head down to the o ocean. Sea. It's not the ocean, is it? That's the Atlantic. Mmm, oh blimey, very strawberry. All right, so I wander down to the sea uh, and then we'll wrap it up. Um, pop this in the bin. So, um, quite nice that ice cream for three pieces, I can't say three sheets, three pieces of shrapnel. Um, here we go, it's beautiful. Oh, do you know what I might do? <clears throat> I have to do, if I get time, an evening walk from here to Ben El Medina along the seafront. What do you reckon? Pop it in the comment section. Right, well, there we go. I'm going to wind it up here and I'm going to have a walk back. Um, you don't really need to use the lift, by the way. I had a, a wander down and you can just use the steps. It's not too bad at all. Uh, save yourself 50 cent. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different. There was no music, not, not, not my normal style. Felt a bit uncomfortable with it. So uh, if you liked it, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, it was a little bit more relaxed and uh, uncomfortable but I enjoyed it because it was just it was just more relaxed um anyway that's all from me today there you go Tora Molinos on an evening uh, but I was shocked and offended by that bull 
not. Uh, anyway, it was a bit odd though, wasn't it? I mean, why would you put that in the back? I mean, I know they have them, but you don't need to see it on a, on a sculpture. Anyway, strange. Great Indian, great walk around, great company. Uh, and uh, what is it that uh, uh, the Truman shows? Uh, the guy says, he says, uh, and it's uh, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You didn't say that bit. See you later. Bye bye.